nerderotic.com. There was a Netflix roast yesterday. Or no, on Sunday. Yesterday. It was live. It was three hours long. It's really long. It's fantastic. It's uh, Tom Brady gets roasted by a lot of comedians. It's very old school. It's something out of, you know, from 10 years ago. Nobody's getting canceled. They dropped gamer words. They were com- incredibly racist, and it was awesome. There was some cringe in there, too, Ben Affleck, but it was it was brilliant. Uh, Kim Kardashian, somebody I talk about a lot on this channel, uh, went up there, and she got booed. She got booed and they edited the booing out, which defeats the purpose of having this live by the seat of your pants, authentic thing, right? Completely destroys that all for Kim Kardashian. Why? I mean, for one, let's be real. Apologies to the ladies really close to the wall. That one is Uh, Netflix edits out booing of Kim Kardashian during Tom Brady roast appearance. And again, Jerry Seinfeld was talking about it in my last video. We have been talking about it. Robert Meyer Burnett says authenticity is the currency of the future. And I think a live roast event was actually a really, really good idea for Netflix. They should make them a regular thing. This is what they should turn the Oscars into, just a giant roast. And it would show that um, maybe America culturally, it is, by the way, I don't know if Hollywood is, but uh, America culturally is starting to remove the giant stick that was up its ass this PC stick that was up up his ass for the last 10 years. So that's good. And if you see somebody like or some entity like Netflix out there doing this, I mean, is it the edgiest comedy out there? No, you, you're still going to find that when you go to a stand-up show. That's where the, you know, the Nick DiPaolo's out there and uh, Tony Hinchcliffe, of course. It, you know, Dave Chappelle's still doing it. Uh, Ricky Gervais. Chrissy Mayer. Going to drop that name in Kurt Metzger. These are people who've never like really changed or give crap. Uh, That's where you're going to find like real comedy, but it's good. This is a move in the right direction culturally until you remove booing of Kim Kardashian. Uh, Welcome to the real world. This is what they think about you. By the way, did a little bit of uh, kind of backup editing on that, on that show a long time ago, just to help a friend out. I applied for a gig on it, didn't get it, but then I ended up doing some of the stuff anyway and just being really happy I didn't get that gig for that show because, uh, wow, it's they're fucking dumb. But, um, hey, props to her. Props to capitalism. She had a sex tape out there. She decided to follow in the footsteps of her friend Paris Hilton, throw out a little sex tape accidentally, and uh, made an empire on it. Oh, by the way, famous because uh, her dad uh, was part of the OJ trial. He's gone now. Uh, we see what the Kardashians do to men. Uh, in some cases, they uh, they just die. And in some cases, they turn into women. Uh, Kim Kardashian was booed as she took the stage during the roast of Tom Brady on Sunday. But you won't see that on Netflix. The version of the special that's now available on the streamer bears a disclaimer reading that it was edited from a previous live stream and the boos had been removed along with Kevin Hart's brief attempt to pacify the crowd. Now, um... I do uh, believe X-Ray Girl has found the original video that we're going to show. Because, <laughs> like, why would you even bother doing this and then announce it? So we all know it was there. We all know you edited it out. I'm not sure what purpose this serves unless it, it, it just embarrasses her more, right? During the original stream, the shouting began as host Kevin Hart introduced Kardashian and continued for more than 10 seconds, forcing her to start over as she tried to tell her first joke. All right, all right, she said, trying to move past the moment as Hart called out, whoa, 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 from his seat. When Kardashian did get going, her first joke came at Hart's expense. People make fun of your height, but uh, what they don't know is you're also pretty mean, uh, which makes you the smallest black dick I've ever seen. (laughs) <laughs> wrote that for her. Uh, she then moved on to the main event, roasting Brady with an expected degree of sexual innuendo as she and the football star were rumored to be dating in the past. I wasn't going to come tonight, but since I'm not here as Tom's date, there's still a good chance I might. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Addressing the rumors head on, she added, speaking to, uh, of Tom and, and I dating, I know there were uh, there were some rumors that we were, and I never say if I did or did not. I just released the tape, which is true, which is true. Well, thank you. I know a lot of people make fun of your height. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. 
right, Kevin. Oh, uh, that's uh, that was nothing. That was nothing. Good God. Now and she looks worse now. She looks worse now. Just let it go. Just let it go. Yeah, it, it must be harsh. It must be harsh. Oh well, poor Kim. Nerdorotic.com. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>